Hello YouTube, this is Mitch Hopper with Mitch Hopper Universe. I want to say hello to everybody around the world. And I hope that uh, things are being better with uh, uh, the rainforest and hopefully we'll be able to uh, maximize on helping our oxygen stay where it's supposed to be at, 25 or 30% of it, didn't, we didn't lose that. And as well as, uh, you know, the chemtrails with the plastics and aluminums that's uh, basically killing us all. Doesn't matter what color we are, doesn't matter where race or any kind of thing like that. We got to get that uh, taken care of because people are doing things that's crazy. Like I said before on the other show, uh, ladies stabbing babies in the face, uh, different people fighting over uh, uh, items when they're getting in a store for. Uh, Popeye's chicken uh, because of all the mixtures and stuff they find out that's in that that's uh, synthetic and artificial um, it's a lot of things that we have to do to get ourselves together y'all and I want to also thank Tyler Perry for his studio that he made to give uh, uh, different people uh, uh, at least uh, uh, opportunity to do things in the movie uh, career and other situations like that and I really am proud to see that he had built like a big fortress of different things on that property and it's, it's beautiful it's an it's inspiration to myself to see that uh, people can do things when they push themselves hard and that anything can be made to happen um, I also have to give respect to people that we don't even pay attention to that's more advanced than us, believe it or not. Uh, from uh, the top of uh, the, the, um, the, you know, the North and South Poles, there's holes in the earth and stuff like that. You go down inside the earth and see modernized stuff, more modernized than we have, believe it or not. And I have to say, I appreciate the fact that they are the ones who are looking out for this world as well. Uh, certain types of media rights that was gonna take us out, they have did things to destroy it, and I appreciate that they have uh, the technology and the well-being of us to take and look out for us. People don't wanna talk about that, but I have to give uh, a lot of, of appreciation for people old that's been here far longer than us, and that's something that's real. We look out to the stars, for different types of uh, beings and stuff like that that are all there as well. But when we look at home, beneath our feet, beneath the crust of the earth, there's beings and things that we can't even understand that's around us and making things happen. Um, so I want to say that to that. Now, if I have a mind that's thinking, like, you know, the Star Trek thing where it has different beings of people that can breed more than one, like we have a, uh, you know, man and female, we could breed and have different children and stuff. Other, a life might have, we have to have three individuals. And where am I going with this is because the thing is with bees, we have to be really careful and making sure we don't extinct, uh, have those go into extinction because bees are very viable to most uh, plant life because they need the pollinization to, uh, multiply and reproduce themselves so the bee is the third entity that they need to make our, our vegetarian and our plants and stuff like that be able to survive so we have to do things to take care of the bees and make sure that they're all right because i look around i don't even see a lot of bees like i used to where you have to worry about getting stung and all that stuff but hey that's a part of god's creation to make this earth beautiful as far as in the plants and, and, and stuff like that because most of the plants need a way of pollinizing itself as far as in, uh, they, they're taking it from one and putting it in the other naturally because they know how to do that. So that's something that we have to fix also as those bees. Otherwise, <laughs> what's the sense of even, uh, again, this world, we go through so much stuff that we do and that's destroying ourselves, it's ridiculous. Um, as far as in, uh, I'm visiting Orlando, Florida right now. I'm only here a little while 
not that long. I've been here for several months now, but I'm not going to be here that long because I want to take the, keep moving uh, parts of the United States that I can learn different cultures and see different things and bring you guys different types of, of uh, knowledge and stuff like that, as well as recreational things as well. Um, uh, you know, uh, it's a type of safe face, I see it, what it is. You have to have respect, you have to have uh, diligence of what you do uh, as far as in working, being around different types of people um, to make it more comfortable for each other. Because a lot of people force things upon all the, uh, force things upon all the people. It doesn't matter if it's sexual things that force upon the people, that's not right. Mental, it's always some kind of taxing stuff that you have to think of when you deal with people. When you talk to people, you have to say to yourself, what kind <coughs> of stuff am I getting into that's going to be able to uh, strengthen my growth as an individual, uh, mentally, physically, and financially? If those things don't come in line, um, there's no sense in doing all this un unnatural craziness and subtleties of getting involved with people. If you're going to do things that's manipulative and destructive, and even if you don't realize it's destructive, it's destructive. we got to change those ways because it's, it's distasteful, it's discomforting, and people are just going to feel more ill feeling uh, around each other, and it makes no sense. Um, uh, now, a good thing with the Star Wars movie that came out, I've seen, is, is, is it's, it's pretty good. It, it's some things in it you can feel that it, it, the that it's not like the real maker of it. Uh, I have to say, um, he's smart for selling his Star Wars uh, situation, of, you know what I'm saying? But it still uh, came out to be a good movie and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, also, um, the, 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 the LGBT community situation that happened in the movie where everybody's kissing and hugging uh, women and women, men and men, different straight people and stuff like that. This is the part of the world that we live in today. All of this situation happens inside our world anyway. So when people have comments of saying negativity about certain things, you have to understand, you have to understand yourself. If you have to have hate and badgering people because of the LGBT community and stuff like that, look inside yourself. It could be that you hiding who you're supposed to be, and you don't know how to come out and be yourself. It could be a lot of situations of hatred because nobody loves or give you a time of day because of your attitude, and you see all these other people being able to do this and, and enjoy their lives, wake up. Understand the problem that you have in yourself first uh, to retaliate on the right way to other people. Um, that's a um, thing that I feel. Um, you know what I'm saying? And as far as in McDonald's, uh, we love McDonald's and everything like that. I'm not particularly f fond of fast foods because of all this experimentation that we find out that they're doing. But one thing that you have to do, when you go to McDonald's, you have to respect that there's people with kids and children um, coming in there doing drag queen shows and all that other kind of stuff and dropping it like it's hot in front of all the kind of people. It's entertainment. Yes, it's entertainment. Maybe you're looking for finding a spot to be in that entertainment, there's a different place to go to do that. Go to uh, a gay establishment, go to different types of uh, uh, clubs or bars or something and see if you can apply for that kind of job. But when you do crazy stuff like that in a, in a, in a, in a place of business where there's children and there's different types of people and of different religions where they come from different backgrounds and they don't really understand that, you can't do things like that. That's t tarnishing uh, the people of the way we live our life in the gay community and the LGBT community. It, it makes us look like we have no control and there's no control, there's no um, loyalty, there's no, uh, like, you know, there's, there's nothing. I mean, there's, there's, there's no reason on, on, on doing things this way. Um, it's a sickness in there. Uh, maybe it's you out in the street with chemtrails, breathing it, 
constantly all day, but I mean, check yourself. I mean, maybe it's a good show when you're in that situation, it's proper things for proper places. Um, you know, when you're in that situation and a lifestyle, um, it's probably a good thing. You probably do good things, get a lot of money, your tips, but let's look at the fact that there's different people and their beliefs and different people with children, period, that have to come up with their own idea and their own identity of doing things. So it's not fair for you to tarnish that. Um, I think that there should be a lot of different ways we should handle things. Um, but first, we have to handle things in ourselves. Everything is inside ourself first. That's how it can radiate to outside to be better. You have to check yourself first. You have to uh, make yourself all right. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know, hold harder to your a deity that you need to grasp on, your belief system of God or whatever it is that makes you uh, correct yourself. And uh, with that saying, um, I love you all. Um, I wish that we could do a lot of things a little smarter uh, as far as in everything. Um, because there's people up old who's checking us out, looking at us, and seeing the craziness that's going on. So if I was a person as a person of science and I want to uh, radiate myself into being a higher being of person, um, I think I should really examine myself, examine the knowledge that I've been learned, not just the knowledge of what people want you to learn, to be put in their factories, be put into their restaurants, be put into their uh, different establishments because that's not a real future. When we go to go to college, to get degrees for different things, we're learning what these people want us to learn as far as in uh, making their establishment grow and wealth while we still sit at the bottom of the chain. So that goes for everybody, uh, right, black, whatever. This is the world that we have to conform to um, and just make it as best as way we can. Um, I could go on and on, but I'm going to save a lot of other ideas that I have for another time because there's a whole bunch of stuff that we have to do to come clean with ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, you have to have a code in what you do. You have to have respect in what you do. Um, you have to have a lot of stuff that you have to do to be correct, even with yourself. If when you wake up in the morning, do you think that uh, these ideas of craziness and ideas of doing things is forced upon us? No, not really. A lot of us are mental. A lot of us have uh, issues. But I mean, come on. I mean, I mean the chemtrails, all this other kind of stuff. That's craziness. The, the radiation and cell phone towers. Um, all kind of stuff that we're doing that's hurting and, and killing ourselves, and there's ways of going around that. Um, it's, it's obvious because for us to have these technology and gadgets is because of people of old that we have retrieved them from, and we didn't kick them out the right way because we have to have all the sense. When people around had more sense, that's here thousands, millions, billion years longer than us. So if you like everything I have to say, like and subscribe. Make sure you also check out my mixed quick eats because I have a lot of different uh, recipes and stuff like that I could that I did that's quick and easy and you might like it. So make sure you check everything about the links below and have a great day. Thank you.